Thank you, Fran, for all your support and some of your questions regarding my portrait painting. And here, that captured an event a few months back, taking place at the Metropolitan Museum of Art. So David Hockney, his opening reception, a retrospective of uh, 50 years of his work, gathered in one huge salon mm -hmm. with 500 guests. And uh, so I took a lot of photographs that evening. And I uh, met this uh, really nice t uh, pair of brothers who were happily obliged to pose. And I had told them that I intend to paint uh, a portrait of them. And uh, hopefully someday they will see this. But they haven't yet, not yet. And here we are, all four of us, in front of a painting. Actually three of us, in front of a portrait of Henry Gazzaro who was the creator of the Metropolitan at one time, back in the 1970s. And these two brothers here, I fancy uh, their appearance, their long hair, and he had that look of the jaconda, that smile. And um, I've done a lot of poetry, and, there, and one of you came up with a very interesting uh, observation and one of that um, was I painted in the spirit of Russ Anderson, this filmmaker, where he uh, poses all his actors frontally, like a frontal pose or a profile, very linear. And I, I hadn't thought of that at the time, but when you come to think of it, yeah, it does uh, ring, ring uh, a bell. And another one of you came up with Dan Orbit. And there's a, a striking resemblance, and I've loved her work. She was from back in the 1960s, and I was a, a photography major back at Pratt. And I had loved her work, and I found them haunting, mysterious. And that's what a portrait should do, evoke a sense of, um, uh, if not mystery, maybe question. They used to provoke question to the viewer. And you look at it, and you examine it, and. Uh, and find out what you can get out of a portrait. As if you want to get to know the person more, you just look at the painting and look at it and engage upon it. And there are many associations that come with the, uh, a portrait. And thank you.